Hi, this is Russell Davis for ESCToday.com in London with uh, Lucas and Stereo Mike. Hi, welcome, Russell. Welcome to London. Um, I'm very happy to be here with you now. Cool. And Mike, obviously this is your home. It is indeed, but nice to have Lucas here. Cool. <laughs> now, the last time I saw you guys was right after the Greek national final. Mm. It was very emotional for you. You were obviously very happy. For me, yeah, it was, it was a very special moment because uh, it is a very special song for me the watch my dance and i was very happy for the for the people who who vote and like this song and appreciate this i i, I want to thank them <laughs> and what do you remember about, about that evening uh, that it was very exciting um for me i i knew we were taking a little bit of a risk by mixing the two styles yeah. so the first big test was the greek audience and we're very very happy for that so now we're even you know, we believe in the song even more, taking yeah. it to yeah. Europe. Now, it was a very strong competition. I think the best Greek final we've had in many, many a year. Were you a bit surprised with the victory or were you confident that you could do it? You think it was one of the uh, good Greek finals? There were six really good songs mm-hmm. there. Yeah? In previous years, maybe not so strong, but this year it was one of the best. Okay, that was a very, a very good compliment about the Greek national final. Uh, I think, you know... The six participants were uh, new singers, new of the uh, music, uh, new in the music business. So it was yeah. all young people. Yeah. So we tried to be ourselves and the best performers, each one. It was very, very good, you know, insight between us uh, how to. It was a good vibe between all the yeah. all the people participating. I think for us, we definitely didn't feel we had it in the pockets. Uh, we definitely had the nerves. Um, what kept us quite good is that, for one, we're really friendly. We met after the song was recorded because we recorded over two countries. And uh, when we met, the vibe was really good between us, uh, and that's a great thing. That the person you're collaborating with, you really feeling like you can spend that week of rehearsals and work together. The other thing was we believe in the song so much that we felt good about ourselves as musicians doing something we really feel very close to our hearts. Um, but I have to say, it was very impressive um, what we heard from everybody else. Great voices. Yeah. Um, quite a few of them are mates, uh, people we know, uh, people we respect and we, we follow their careers as well. So we thought, okay, it's exciting, it's great, and it's a good vibe. And I think after the last minute, we definitely didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> it was exciting. You mentioned the process of recording the song that you hadn't met. Can you, can you speak a bit more about that? Maybe? Sure, yeah. Um, Yanis Christodoulopoulos, the composer, um, played it uh, for me over Skype, actually, uh, when, they, when they asked me to do the, the UK, the English rap. Maybe it song. was a good internet connection that day. It was good internet <laughs> connection. He was in his studio. Uh, I was in my studio, so I actually heard it through the speakers, and I got goosebumps. I thought, wow, you know, this is really... Um, it's 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 a powerful song. I uh, love the lyrics uh, by Eliana Rahali. I love Lux's performance that was already recorded on the choruses. So Mike was the last part, but the, I think the the best one. Well, I, I just <laughs> thanks man. I just really loved it. It's you know it's an emotional thing for us because the the lyrics are it's it's an important message for us and. What, what the lyrics are talking about and this combination of Greek music with rap, English, uh, Greek for me was also a little bit of a summary of what I'm all about um, I'm Greek who lives in London who works with rap so it really felt like a European thing and a Greek thing at the same time You mentioned the lyrics can you actually translate to us what you're singing about? In the Greek part In the Greek part, yes Uh... In a few words, it wants it wants to say that uh, every man, every uh, human, uh, maybe he will fall in his life and feels the, disappo- the disappointment, but he should rise up and continue and keep going on. And I think this is a message for all the people because we live in difficult times especially in Greece, and I think we should rise up in every difficulty. It it is about rising up from uh, moments of falling down, and that 
success and survival isn't really about all the mishaps, it's about how you deal with them. And the Zebeko dance itself, it's quite a proud dance. Yeah. Um, it's a warrior dance, uh, that's the origin of it. And it, it contains that sort of pride of survival, so it's not... Um, I don't think it's just a Greek message, it's a very universal message. And um, I suppose that the, the English rap part sort of translates and prepares the ground for what happens in the chorus when Lucas takes it to the sky, you know, with, with that <laughs> yeah. great melody. Uh, Yogos Archaeos brought back Greek music with Oppa to Eurovision last year. Is that something very important for you as well, singing the Greek language? Um, I think it's too important every country to see uh, the competition, the Eurovision. Uh, every year with different uh, thoughts, and this this year we we felt we felt that we need a Greek song to be there because of the meaning of the song. Yeah. And I think I'm proud to to sing for three minutes in, in Europe. Greek lyrics. Just nice. This is uh, this is what my heart tells. And Mike, uh, when I think of rap music, I think of something which is hard and aggressive. Your style is more gentle and melodic. Is that typically your style of music? I think I think I've ranged uh, quite a bit in the works I did before. I'm I'm a musician first and foremost. I'm a pianist really. Okay. Um, I've played keyboards all my life, and I produce. Before I be ever became a frontman, I was producing other artists. So the musical entry into the song is really the focal point for me. Uh, so I suppose I can be flexible depending on what the message and the melody of the song is. So this is quite a musical piece. And when I heard it, um, I took the lyrics from Eliana and I did something a little bit more melodic with it. Uh, so it's probably not typical of all my work before, but depending on the style of music I work with, I'll, I'll do something that feels right. So this is slightly smoother and a bit more musical, a bit more tonal. Now you've recorded a couple of albums in the past, I understand. Can you maybe um, give us an example of that, two of you together? <laughs> <laughs> sure, I think we should do a tribute to the great Harris Alexiou, which is uh, one of my first big experiments with Greek and folk music. Would you be big happy? Naming in oh, she's, she's one of our greatest singers. Um, yes, in Greece. And I, I remixed something that featured her chorus. Would you be happy? Coming in on the chorus on that, if I start of with course. the rap, it's an aura for me. Let's do it, okay. Right. Let's get a bit of groove. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In these times, I'm not going to be able to do it. The parallel is going to be a bit of 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 Κάθε στιγμή λε και το μέλλον ζωγραφίζω. Είναι το τίμημα και πάντα θα παλεύω. Θα οδεύω προ το φω, θα ταξιδεύω τώρα. Φεύγω. Wow, that's great. Okay, well done, guys. Thank you. We know we have